Hello and welcome to 16th session of ASME B31.3 course. This is Ali and I hope you are doing well. In this session, we will discuss how to specify the class and thickness of fittings based on ASME B31.3 and the related standards specified by the code. Before that, however, let's talk a little about materials. Carbon steels are ferrous materials with carbon content up to 2% of weight. In addition to carbon, C, there are manganese, Mn, silicon, Si, phosphorus, P, sulfur, S, and other alloys that form its chemical composition. Carbon steels are used for manufacturing different piping components, ASTM. American Society for Testing and Material has specified the standard for the manufacturing processes. Referring to previous session, fittings are manufactured in two methods, forged and wrought. ASTM A105 is the standard specification for carbon steel forgings for piping applications and ASTM A234 is the standard specification for the piping fittings of rolled carbon steels and alloy steels for moderate and high temperature services. In addition to carbon steel, piping components can be manufactured by low temperature carbon steels LTCS, low alloy steel AS, high alloy steel stainless steels and non-ferrous materials. In these cases, the form of product will specify the ASTM standard per material. Let's go back to the pressure design. First, forged fitting. Can you specify the class of forged 90 degrees elbow in the following condition? MPS equals one and a half. Material ASTM A105. Corrosion allowance equals 1 mm. You may think that the design pressure and temperature that this component should sustain are missing in the mentioned condition. Referring to previous session, please note that the thickness of pipe which is connected to forged fittings determines their class based on ASME B16.11. In other words, Design pressure and temperature have already been implemented through the wall thickness calculation of the pipe used for determination of forged fittings. There is no need to consider them again. It's good time to talk about the important piping specification used for categorizing materials, namely PMS, piping material specification. As a piping engineer, you would know how to use this document. I hope this session helps you to work with PMS well. During this course, you will acquire knowledge about calculations that led to PMS classes based on the flange rating, material, and corrosion allowances. Let's have a look at a sample PMS for better understanding. Despite the format, used for preparation, PMS includes some classes. These classes are used to categorize piping components with the same conditions. It means that the piping component which are categorized in a class have the same material, design pressure and temperature, and corrosion allowance. Therefore, when we want to specify the class or rating of forged fitting, first, we should refer to the class of the project's PMS, where components are categorized in, and then find which thickness is specified for the target pipe size. So, let's assume that forged 90 degrees elbow of our example is categorized in this class, AN02. Please note that the procedures for naming the PMS classes 
are different in different projects. In this class, for size range, NPS equals half to NPS equals one and a half. The description of 90 degrees elbow is forged SW ASME B16.11 and ASTM A105. Please note that using abbreviations are common in piping works and one needs to know them. Generally, such abbreviations should be defined in document. However, one should remember essential ones. For example, SW stands for socket weld and BW for butt weld. I will try to mention them during the course. Each component in PMS shall be described in a complete and clear manner, as piping components will be purchased based on this description. In fact, PMS is inserted into the catalog of 3D modeling software, for example, Aviva E3D and DMTO, material takeoff. Therefore, all details of components such as manufacturing procedures, end preparation, material standard, dimensional standard, and etc. shall be detailed. This description of our example says that the procedure of manufacturing 45 or 90 degrees elbows in this size range is forged. The connection type is socket welding. Dimensional standard is ASME B16.11 and material standard is ASTM A105. Based on ASME B16.11, NPS equals 2 is also available for socket welding. However, it's popular to use this type of end connection for NPS equals 1.5 and, and less. And this PMS follows this common practice. To specify the class, we should find the thickness of pipe with NPS equals 1.5. You can see that a schedule number is selected for pipe with NPS 1.5. I want to clarify this row of PMS. It says that the thickness of pipe with size range half to one and a half, end preparation plane end or PE, manufacturing procedure, seamless or SMLS, dimensional standard, ASME B36.10, and material standard, ASTM A106 grade B, is schedule number 80. Referring to episode 12 and 13, you are familiar with the procedure that led to selection thickness based on ASME B31.3. You are recommended to review them. Now we should refer to table 7 of ASME B16.11. You can see that for thickness equal to schedule number 80 and less, class of forged fittings with socket weld connection will be 3000 pound. So I specify 3000 in highlighted field. If we have a forged fitting with threaded connection, the same instruction shall be followed for determining the class. Next example is the pressure design of route fitting with following conditions. Type 90 degrees elbow. NPS equals 4. Material ASTM A234 grade WPB. Corrosion allowance 1 mm. PMS class AN02. As discussed in the previous session, the thickness of route fitting is the same as the thickness of pipe. Therefore, we should refer to the class of PMS that route fitting belongs to to find which thickness is specified for pipe with NPS equals 4. In class AN02 of this PMS, the thickness of 90 degrees long radius LR elbow with size range NPS equals 2 to NPS equals 28, connection type butt weld or BW, 
Dimensional Standard ASME B16.9 and Material Standard ASTM A234 Grade WPB is specified same as pipe. Let's find thickness of pipe NPS equals 4 in this class. You can see that the thickness of pipe with size range NPS equals 2 to NPS equals 6 and preparation bubbles end or BE. Manufacturing type seamless or SMLS. Dimensional standard ASME B36.10 and material standard ASTM A106 grade B is specified as a schedule number 40. So the thickness of elbow of our example is schedule number 40. In this course, in addition to ASME B31.3, we are aiming to add to your knowledge of piping issues, focusing on PMS document that plays an important role in this field. I hope you have found it beneficial. Please let us have your feedbacks by leaving your comments. In the next session, we will discuss about pressure design of mitre bands. Thank you for being with us.